Hello everyone, I'm Peter Adcock from uh, Digital Realty. I'm responsible for design and construction in APEC, which for digital uh, comprises of Singapore, which is our head, regional head office, and then we've got uh, Melbourne, Sydney in Australia, Hong Kong and uh, Japan, where we're in a jo joint venture with uh, Mitsubishi, and that uh, comprises two sites in, uh, in Tokyo and two in Osaka, one under construction. Okay, the panel uh, topic was on-premises, colo or cloud. So one of the key takeaways was that uh, there's many options of solving uh, data processing requirements and there's a whole complex uh, range of issues as far as uh, security with uh, confidential customer information but then also uh, total cost of ownership of, structure, uh, of the infrastructure and uh, the, the host was from Sydney Water where they now don't want to own any of the uh, iron which is the uh, actual equipment so uh, what we were going through was how different collocation providers, not just digital, but NextDC, Equinix and others, can uh, provide uh, collocation services, scale and then uh, hyperscale, which we refer to as the cloud, which is the new player is Air Trunk and others. So uh, there's, um, Australia is a very early adopter of, uh, of technology and the data centre as well is an area that we're seeing a lot of uh, dynamic evolution. It's uh, interesting where digital's not yet doing co-location in Asia Pacific, although we've acquired Telex uh, in the US and uh, also another company in uh, Europe. It's, it's an area where you're seeing a lot of demand and early adoption and I think the benefit of co-location is it gives customers a lot of access to the on-ramps of AWS, Azure and uh, you know, Google services as well, which Australia is um, uh, very adaptive and uh, flexible in the way that they're approaching it. It's uh, a big enabler for a lot of companies. It's, it's quite interesting, uh, some of my colleagues uh, say that uh, you know everyone here, but uh, that's, uh, you know, I started in the data center in, in industry in uh, Japan uh, when uh, the dot-com bubble was uh, very active, uh, late uh, 1990s and early 2000s, and uh, it's actually uh, almost gone full circle where digital acquired a lot of uh, data centers after the dot-com bubble burst and uh, that was back in 2003-2004 when they went IPO and it's amazing to see the growth in the industry from that. Here it's um, you know, the, the uh, one which I was surprised and I was giving Kevin Hughes from Munters a hard time where uh, they've got a new product and uh, I'm only finding out about it because I've come here today. So uh, it's hard to stay up to date because the industry is uh, growing and evolving you know, even old stalwarts in UPS, which is Thicon, you know, a great guy, Bruno Rocky, who's uh, a bit of a grandfather come godfather of the industry, is saying, well, you know, here, this is our new product. And uh, it's a great opportunity to come and meet everyone in one and one, over one or two days and uh, get a refresh and uh, catch up with a lot of old friends and colleagues. It's a small industry and uh, thank you for DCD putting this on. and. Uh, working so well with uh, some of the key partners like Uptime Institute. I was on a panel with Mark earlier. It's a wonderful opportunity to uh, stay in touch.